Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Whitney, coming at you on a Wednesday afternoon from the outdoors here in Battery Park City. It's such a beautiful day out. I'm in a great mood. I just left the New York Mercantile Exchange CME Group floor, and because it's so beautiful, after suffering from two days of really cold weather, I decided to take the crew outdoors and film and close out the session the right way in the sun. That's right, fun in the sun, because it's nearly 4 o'clock, the market's there about to close. It's time to grab a drink. It's happy hour and the Big Apple. Now, U.S. stocks, they continue to seesaw throughout the trading session, but mostly are on the upside this Wednesday afternoon. This as investors continue to take in a mix of earnings from both retailers as well as financials, as well as investors continuing to take on this afternoon's release of the Federal Reserve Minutes. But amid a lack of major economic reports for the most part, most attention today turning to oil prices. That's right, crude oil futures, they are higher this afternoon after the EIA's weekly inventory data report shows showed a build of 1.3 million barrels for last week. This all while other fuel stockpiles were on the downside. Meanwhile, earnings also headlining today. Target reporting a 1.2% increase in comparative sales, while net revenue for Target declined to $16.2 billion, mainly due to the sale of pharmacy and clinic business to CVS Health. As a matter of fact, Target taking quite the hit today, down more than 9.5% intraday. Meanwhile, Staples also in the headlines, slightly beating on both the top and bottom line, but North American same store sales for Staples, they were down 4%. That's a bigger than that's bigger than the expected 3.1% drop. Now you team this with a slide in Asia and European stocks overnight, growing Japanese GDP, and big news today, well, kind of big news, the New York Stock Exchange announcing that it had a small but critical technical issue that saw the suspension of 199 stock symbols. This has trades in the affected symbols continued without issue in other market, cha market exchanges then you have yourself a session right now where for the most part stocks continue to seesaw with advancers just a slight bit ahead of decliners. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this, the midway point of the trading week. And rather than talk about corporations, because I already talked enough about them already today, we have to talk about the New York Mets. Big game yesterday. Thor with his mighty hammer swinging down, beating down Max as well as the Nationals. Who's the best team in the East? You know who they are. Let's go Mets. Let's keep it up. Harvey, pick up your game, damn it. Let's go. And for Modern Wall Street, saying let's go Mets. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow, hopefully in an even better mood. I'm James Sweeney.